Hello, in this video we're going to go ahead and continue with functions. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview of what we talked about in the last video uh, and then and then we'll continue from there. So uh, functions are one of the most important things you can know for, uh, for any kind of programming including PHP so um, I'm going to kind of take it real slow through the next few videos and we're uh, going to be dealing exclusively with uh, functions and hopefully by the time uh, we finish watching these videos we'll all, we'll all have a better understanding of functions and uh, how to use them, how they work. Um, so in our last example, uh, let's go ahead and call our function again. Actually we'll echo a line break first, so this is on a new line. Um, so we're just echoing out some HTML and then we'll call the function again but this time we'll give it different parameters and this time let's go ahead and just give them a uh, uh, let's just type them in here instead of putting variables w which is totally fine to do so we'll give it uh, the number 25 and Bob okay so now we're calling the function again but with different parameters okay so here you go this function was called the numbers 15 and this again here's the function it does the same thing but this time with different uh, with different parameters. So I'm hoping that kind of illustrates uh, how useful functions are. You only have to make the function one time, but you can give it whatever parameters you like, as long as they're the same uh, the same type, which we'll be getting into later. But uh, it wouldn't really, in our example, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to go, my function is Neil and Bob. I mean, in this example, we could do that, but it's not really going to make sense. Um, the number is Neil. I mean, that, you know, that doesn't make sense. So, um, so you want to keep the types, kind of have an idea of what the types are, and in this case it was a number and a string, so we gave it a number and a string. Um, another, let's just go ahead and make a different function here. Let's erase this and erase that. Okay, so this time let's do function add to numbers, and um, we're going to give it two arguments here. Uh, uh, num1 and num2 and this function is going to take uh, is actually going to echo num1 and we're going to add num2 to it and we're just using the plus the plus sign. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the last videos um, addition is plus uh, subtraction is minus multiplication is the asterisk which is um, shift 8 and uh, s d division is your uh, slash key it's just the uh, forward slash uh, on the same key as your question mark. Um, so this is uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Um, so we're just echoing out two numbers. So let's go ahead and echo. Actually, we don't need to echo. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to add two numbers. Um, let's give it the number 4 and 200. And uh, and we'll reload that. And there you go. Oh, that side of your screen, 204. So um, what that did is, as we're reading through this, as PHP is reading through our file, it said, okay, um, PHP, add two numbers. As soon as it sees our function name, it's going to jump out of its, it's going to jump from line 5 here all the way down to line uh, uh, 10, and it's going to say, okay, what's this mean? It means, okay, it means take two parameters, which it has, and echo echo it out, num1 plus num2, and then it returns this echo back to wherever it called from. So this would be the exact same as saying uh, echo four, uh, what was it, 400, or 4 plus 200. It's the exact same thing. It just it just returns whatever it does back to where it calls it from. Um, um, and that'll make more sense later on. I, I don't know if that was the best example for, for that, but uh, but this echo does does not occur on line 11. It actually occurs on line 5 here, uh, once we call it. So uh, there's our edge. And we can add uh, another two numbers, 300 and 200. And it's going to do the exact same thing. It'll give us the number 500, which is uh, right there. And we can use that function over and over and over. It'll always do the same thing. Um, add two numbers, 5,000. You know, to whatever, uh, and I'll, I don't think I put a space in here, but there you go, seven two zero one and and five hundred, and uh, so so that's gonna, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Just a quick uh, quick recap of uh, of what we learned so far with functions, and 
Um, in the next video, we'll go ahead and continue with functions, and hopefully in the next uh, video or two, we'll have a really good understanding of them and um, be able to really uh, really start out with some cool things uh, pretty quickly once, once we grasp this concept. Okay, thanks for watching.